Hey guys, it's Taser, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a simple wall transition like this. As you can see, it goes from one scene to another, and it's pretty easy to do if you know how. And yeah, within the next few minutes, you're going to know how if you don't yet. So it would be nice if you could leave a rating, and yeah, let's get started. Let me just delete my color correction and all that other fancy stuff. Actually, yeah, let's just create a new composition. Yeah, we'll make it like six seconds long. And I'm going to import my two clips. So, um, this is my first clip. We don't need all of it, so I'm just going to uh, cut it right here. And put that to the start. So, when you record this, you got to make, uh, make sure you like move in the same speed on both clips. Uh, that way, it just looks way better so yeah and then on this one uh, I'm gonna cut out the end as well like that um, also if the faster it goes the better it looks most times especially if you have like a little rotation in your cinematic like I do if you just go from left to right it's um, it just it looks better most times but if you spend some time um, it also looks good when you have rotation in it. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do now is um, decide where we want to cut the wall. So in my case, I'm gonna use this gray kind of bar thingy, and um, let's get our second clip here and drag that on top. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do now is um, duplicate this layer and at the top layer you're going to go to layer, time, freeze frame and that way it will be still and not moving so um, now we're going to go to the um, to the frame where where the um, you want the wall to appear so yeah in this case it's already at the start because I cut out the rest but that doesn't really make a difference so just drag the top layer on there and then just simply move it to the right so you could do like masking um, you could mask this so it would um, fit to the shape of this but um, for this tutorial we don't really need that so I'm just gonna drag it a bit more to the left and yeah let's keep it there so, so then just keyframe the position um, move forward a bit uh, to like the frame where you wanted to completely fill the screen which is right about here I guess and then uh, you should always make sure uh, go and check if it looks alright yeah as you can see there's some shifting here which is because of the rotation stuff so I'm just gonna fix that and manually move the wall a bit we're gonna have some motion blur later to really sell the effect um, I use real smart motion blur but you could also use the inside after effects motion blur but then you just gonna make sure that uh, it's moving fast enough and yeah I think that's alright already um, you could yeah as I said mask it so it matches completely um, if you want to know how to mask then just check out my tutorial for that but yeah so then at the very last frame where it's already at the right position just cut your clip drag the uh, the other clip that's moving underneath and you're finished pretty much so then just add some motion blur um, let's just use the default settings for now and as you can see this already blends in a lot better so yeah this is pretty much it for this tutorial so if you have any other requests then just write them in the comments please I know I've been inactive again but I just don't know what to post anymore so I need you guys help so please if you have any ideas or just think for a while and you'll probably find something if you watch some watch some edits and then just link me write something in the comments and I'll do a tutorial so yeah that's it for now um, be sure to leave a like if you uh, if this helped you and yeah bye